Hi, I'm your host, DOS350, and I'd like to welcome you all to a very special show that I like to call Cigarette Review. Now, in this episode, we're going to be looking at Champion Ruby, Legendary Ruby, as it's called, and let's just jump straight into it. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe bell button for all your latest Siggy needs. Only on DOS 350 legit. Now, let's just cover the basics. This fresh packet of cigarettes bought at Coles cost $58.50 at the time of our purchase. And that's a lot of money. $58.50 for a 40 gram packet of tobacco. Now, if, if you're watching this from a country besides Australia, you might think, wow, that is outrageous. And it is. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Let's just deep dive straight into it. 58, 50, 40 Gs. Let's open it. Get a look at what's inside the pack. It's going to be an unopening now. Alright, here it is. It's out of its little sealed packet. And we're just going to jump straight in. The packet, as you can see, has got a nice little picture there. And it says in big, big white letters, smoking causes emphysema. Now that's neither here nor there. And the caption of the picture is along with em emphysema. It's got a little barcode here. and This is the back of the packet, same little picture. And it says, quit line, 137848. Shoutouts to the quit line. And it says here, smoking causes emphysema. And let's just read the little blurb here. Smoking causes most cases of emphysema. Emphysema is, well, it's the slow and, in bold letters, permanent destruction of the air sacs. Shoutouts to sacs in your lungs. Over time, it becomes harder and harder to breathe. You slowly start to die from lack of air. Want help quitting? Well, you call the quit line on 137848. Or talk to your doctor or pharmacist or visit quit line. Quit now, I mean, .gov.au. And that's all the packet says. There's nothing else to it. Uh, actually, down the bottom it says Imperial Tobacco Australia Limited. 4 to 8 Inglewood Place. Borker Mills, New South Wales, 2153. Made in... New Zealand, phone 1-800-677-953. That's all it says. But before we open it up, I'm just going to dare to compare. When I was a little kid, you know, in school, just starting to smoke, the packets weren't like this. They were nice and colourful, artistic, and just generally didn't give little toddlers seeing their mum or dad have a ciggy nightmares when they saw them. Like these bloody gory ones do. This one's not even that bad, stupid little lung. They actually have a picture of dead people. Cut up brains, cut up feet. Really horrible things. And little kids saying, mummy, daddy, I'm scared. It's like, whoops. Well, you can blame our little government. But that's neither here nor there. This is what the packets kind of used to look like in my day. See that? See how nice that is? Now this is a memorabilia tin that I was given by the good people at the Tobacconist back in about 2010 or something when they first phased in these stupid packets. They were doing these as a promotion free when you buy a packet. This was only 30 G's at the time. And there you go. Since then a lot's changed in cigarette, you know, consumer world. Mainly the price is through the roof. Disadvantaged families all across Australia are struggling to, um, you know, feed themselves because cigarettes are just so expensive. But, you know, which one do you prefer? The stupid little long cauliflower thing or the uh, nice yellow guy, big 
nice looking letters and the knight in the middle, knight in shining armor, slay and the cigarette cost increased demons. That's what I fantasize him to be. But that's beyond the scope of this video, so now we're just going to crack straight into it. If you've never smoked rollies before, you know, well, when you first open it, they got a pretty good aroma. It's all fresh and kind of, you can really smell the goodness that's in there. It's got another little thing on the inside though. Warning, tobacco smoke contains hydrogen cyanide. Inhaling hydrogen cyanide damages the cleaning system of your lungs, allowing toxic substances to build up in the lungs. Oh shit, somebody call the fucking ambulance. But that's beyond the scope of this video. So, what you're going to need to enjoy a nice relaxing cigarette like this is, well, you're going to need a cigarette paper. And I just so happen to have one prepared, so here we go. I've got my cigarette paper. Some users choose to use what's called a filter. But I personally believe that it ruins the uh, experience. You gotta, you know, suck on it like a vacuum cleaner to get any juice out of it, and it's just not worth it. So we're gonna be using cardboard. AKA, you know, some people might call it a roach. So you just, you know, make a little cylinder out of it. Place it in your little paper doesn't matter make sure that you know you're not gonna you're gonna wet the side with the glue on it and we're gonna take some of this fresh champion legendary ruby make sure to smash that like and subscribe bell button if you like to be fresh as well and you know not too much but not too little and you're just gonna put it in there and uh Kind of even it out a bit with your little fingers. Make sure it's, you know, nice and doesn't have to be neat, but it kind of, it's going to help if it's quite even. And so then you get your little rolling momentum happening, tuck it around the edge there, give it a bit of a lick and you're ready to go. One cigarette. So I'm going to give my honest opinion on what I think about this Champion Ruby. Make sure to smash that bell button. Alright. Well, just straight off the bat, I can say that I'm loving it. And that... It's, a uh, tastes good, it's given me a good feeling. Wow, that's smooth, you know. It comes in varieties, this stuff. Uh, this is Champion Ruby, and Ruby's considered the full strength one in the Champion brand. They've also got uh, Legendary Smooth Blue, Gold, uh, They even had a red at one stage, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Blue and gold are the main other ones. I think they've got two types of blue. They've got like a smooth blue and a legendary blue or something. But for a guy like me, the ruby's the one that you want because what's the point in having the lesser one? I don't really get it. Like they cost the same price. But let's just talk about that price for a minute. 58.50. Now, for a small packet of these, 40 grams, 58.50. For that money, I could buy a new phone, you know, a, a basic smartphone. I could buy a monitor for my computer. I could buy a, um... I could pretty much buy an old computer from the 2000s or something. could buy a PS3, probably, second-hand. Um, Xbox 360, maybe, at a stretch, like... And when this costs 58.50, it kind of skews the value of money in society, especially in the lower economic bracket, like minimum wage and shit. When a packet of these that you need at least a couple of a week, it's like, 
that's 5850 and a good item that's gonna last for years and years and it's like high tech and obviously worth more is less money it's like kind of doesn't have a good effect on consumers but it's justified by saying oh blah blah we're kids and stuff I started doing this when I was a kid and I haven't stopped and um, the price has only gone up as far as I know like I'm not a fucking statistician but I think smoking rates across the board are increasing and um, it's just you know it doesn't matter if they put a stupid gory blood gore r-rated image on the packet or they say spooky things like and the sacks and the lung people couldn't care less like if, if you want to quit that's great this is by no means me pressuring you to smoke but, it, but for someone who wants to enjoy a cigarette you know well you pretty much have to submit to the fact that you're being robbed and abused when you do it for no good reason all because some little um, person got an idea in their head that it saves lives, you know. It actually puts lives at risk, because people get desperate out there for a cigarette. It's not like they're going to go without one. And you never know what might happen. It makes people upset, angry, exacerbates mental health issues in society. One of the main facts, like when someone's broke, they're not happy. And when they're broke and they don't have any cigarettes, they're unstable let's just say so good on you good on your little cigarette policy wow you know that's very good so if you're in the market for um, a packet of rollies and uh, you don't know what to get. It's like you smoke tailor-mades all your life and you don't know anything about Rollies. Well, this is the one for you. I'm telling you, it hits it on every angle. It's a nice, satisfying cigarette. Nice flavor, you know. It's not too crazy like White Ox. And it's not too, like, there's different categories of tobacco. A brand like JPS, John Player Special, is known to be one of the cheaper tobaccos and that's pretty much why it exists I think and it's not bad but the the saving that you make in my opinion isn't worth it it's too dry JPS it burns too quickly and you you don't really get the satisfaction that you're looking for I don't at least whereas this it, it's kind of a bit m moist it like it burns better it's definitely not dry as a chip like um i don't know if moist is the right word but it's like more dense something definitely a more enjoyable experience for a guy like me and um i'm loving it the only thing that would make me love it more is if um you know the policy stop persecuting disadvantaged families and children and just got got real on the price and the packaging all the studies you know you pretty much put them in the toilet for someone like me it doesn't mean anything and i'm sure a lot of smokers around the nation and around the world agree just butt out you know meanwhile there's all sorts of um, little problems going on it's just like oh it's just normal it's not normal and having these terrifying images and outrageous exorbitant prices damages the uh, fabric of society and it's no secret it's uh not looking good make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you are sick of it as well when it comes to the price of tobacco people's you know just want to have a cigarette it's not really a big deal people want to do all sorts of things and they'll do them too can't the 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 thing is when something costs more it's like a gucci sweater you know what i mean 
It'll keep you just as warm as a Target sweater, but it'll cost 20 times as much. And which one would your little kid teenager rather have, you know, the stupid cheap nothing or the fucking Gucci? It makes it more appealing because it's more expensive and therefore exclusive. It's like, you know, it might work on people here and there, but overall, when something's more expensive, it's more in demand and it's more desired than a lesser priced thing equivalent. So keep that in mind when you're making policies that are going to ruin the livelihood of, you know, marginalized families across the nation for the foreseeable future. I'm not going to let it get to me though, because I just love it so much. And make sure to smash that like and bell button if you feel the same way. pretty much sums it up, so let's just get a little close in of what it what it looks like to enjoy Champion Ruby, like five gum. Well there you have it. So keeping all that in mind, I'm pleased to be able to give Champion Legendary Ruby the score of very highly recommended. Now, I've already told you that I like it and I prefer it to most other cigarettes. If someone offered me a Wingfield Blue TaylorMade or a chance to roll the Champion, I'd take the Champion. It's just way more satisfying and enjoyable and just generally a more pleasant experience to a guy like me. I am a bit biased because I've been enjoying this brand for so, so long, but it's like... That's just the kind of guy I am. And I'm not ashamed to have to admit that at this stage of my career. But... People out there who made it cost this much would be ashamed to admit what they've done in making little kids across the country go without school lunch, or because their mum and dad can't afford it, because they just spent 58.50 on this, and it's like, you know, maybe they'll have a sandwich. It's not like people are going to let people starve, but they could have had better if this didn't cost so much. It's not helping anyone this price, and it's a uh, abomination. So make sure to share this video, like, subscribe, and comment. And let's just uh, be the change that uh, Australia needs. Shout out to Imperial Tobacco for producing such a quality product. And um, many hours and days and years of smoking that I've got out of it. This has been DOS 350 with... Siggy Iggy review, make sure to smash that bell button. And next time you're in the shops and you feel like having a smoke, smack a few of these in the trolley. You're not going to regret it. And, uh, yep. It's Champion Ruby. Legendary. They're not lying when they say that. It is legendary. Like, you imagine all the people who would have smoked this over the years. The impact that it's had on, um, you know, people's lives. It's legendary. And you can't say that the same for all those stupid brands. Highly recommended. Dust 350. Ziggy Review. Smack it in your trolley. It's all gone now, it's down to the cardboard, so till next time, this is 350 out.